Sorry about that guys, this thing is just playing up now. It's just getting ridiculous. I'm gonna to have to get some proper software. Anyway, uh elephant garlic, I'm gonna pull that up later. Um this bed's gotta be cleared. The onions are done absolutely nothing in there, so just being clear, I'm gonna clear that. I'm gonna quickly rush around because it's getting dark and I'm absolutely shattered. Tomorrow's is doing all okay, as you can see. Uh, I'll water them tomorrow night as well again. I haven't watered them today. They don't need watering. There's plenty. The soil's quite damp underneath, and they're all in. Well, they're not all in halos, but they're most of mine halos. That one's okay. Uh, peppers, chilies, doing okay. Um, these are strawberry plants, which are off runners. Now I had six of those, and they were outside. I've just had a look, and there's only three left. So some little shit bag. It's basically taken three of them. Hi hi. Um, one of my first elephant garlics I uh, pulled up, and there you go. Just to show you, oh, that elephant garlic can be grown. Um, I'll probably use that one to grow for for next year as well. Actually, good class size. Um. The only problem is with them, they, they had a bit of dirt in them, so I had to keep peeling that one off, that's why it's, uh, I'm showing a few clothes. More tomato plants, because they're out, that side. Uh, yes, so, still tomato plants. Um, little posy. The sweet peas. Beans, raw beans, raw beans. And then we've got peas. Uh, Moving on down the plot. <laughs> Cabbage doing okay over there. And some of the other bits and pieces. Uh, Collie's Romesco and these are, I think these are the, I think some of these are, um, what do you call them things, them horrible things, Brussels sprouts. Um, but no, no, since I've covered them, they are starting to, Everything's starting to come up now. That's doing okay. Potatoes. Potato potatoes. Doing okay. I've got lots of weed today. I do apologise for the state of it. Raw beans, obviously. I'm not going to have a chance to move all that and clear it all up. So Mr Coleman and Mrs Coleman, it will be tied up tomorrow night. But when you've been at work all day, Give me a chance. Uh, peas, I think they can probably come out as well now. Um, runner beans are doing okay. Some more runner beans up there. The cobra, pathetic. None of them will, none of them will come up. Absolutely useless. Uh, these potatoes, I'm just letting them die off. I'll be ready to pull up um, whenever I need them. Um, yeah, I can probably eat yeah, them. There you go, there's a potato there straight off. Let's bury it there before it gets green. Uh, so, as I'm ready to... Uh, this is the bed with the, uh, hopefully, giant button squash again. And the sweet corn. A bit like the sweet corn, but it's, it's growing. It's getting there, it's getting there, it's getting there. It's getting there. Um, so, yes. Uh, what else, what else, what else? Come on. Uh, Oh, Dad's plot. I was a load of um, rhubarb the other day for him. He's enjoying that. And that's basically a really, really quick whistle stop tour of my plot. Spare one of bean plants now. Spare um, sweet corn. So I wonder nobody's took those. They probably will now. And I've said that. Um, so, yeah. Uh, the. Strawberry plants were here. Uh, there were six there. Um, I've took three back. I'll put them back in the polytunnel. Uh, I've got loads of runners. I'm, I must admit, it doesn't really matter to pay for so I've got loads of runners. But if, if people had asked, um, they can have them. Oh, that's a point. Um, yes, as you can see, I've put some more. I've put the lining down these paths with the help of my great dad. Just go move that wood 
back over to there neatly and tidily. Uh, just ain't got the energy tonight. Well enough now. I've been asleep on the chair for half an hour. Um, and then just cover this bit up as well with a bit of matting. But I've got a load of matting uh, with this membrane. This is a good heavy quality. Uh, and I've stapled it to the wood on either side as well as pegged it. Um, so I just need a bit more trimming. So I keep all that nice and tidy. Um, my dad bossed the chair. That's just the way that he is. He leant back and fell over and has uh, bossed the chair. But anyway. Um, that's it really. Swiss Charles doing great. And I know you guys have given me some advice on what to do with Swiss Charles apart from throwing it away. Um, but no, um, much appreciated. So that's doing really well. Well impressed with the uh, sweet peas. Doing really well. New uh, buds coming up. So, but yes, working good. So he's looking a bit sorry for himself. Um, that's for my mum, they're in a bottle actually with water. If somebody next to them, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I am actually gonna batter them if I find out who it is. Um, don't realise that I have actually got cam, well, so I haven't got cameras, but I will be getting cameras down here. Some little CCTV cameras. Um, but yeah, it's all looking good, and as you can see, I've amping all this area up now. Uh, I've been tying it out. Tidy, yeah, that sounds really bad, doesn't it? Tidying it up. Um, put the uh, shelving over here. Some of the other bits and pieces. Uh, some of the matting, spare matting there. Uh, I'll put a couple of courgettes in here as well. Uh, some more cucumbers. I am going to be absolutely sick and tired of cucumbers, I think. I think I've got nine now. This is a gherkin and it's starting to produce and it's going absolutely mental. So I think I'm going to be sick and tired of those. Um, but Mr. Coleman and I have been stacking stuff up here, or should I say Mrs. Coleman, stuff outside of it. I've been stacking it up neatly up here. See any place I got it, I can't put anything more in the shed or else it'll fall over. But um, it's all looking good. I think some of these potatoes will be ready, even including some of the old potatoes that the guy had the plot beforehand of going through here. Um yeah. Um as you can see, I have lumps now underneath covers. And I've got a feeling this is That's actually uh, Brussels sprouts, so I'm going to make my frame up, they've absolutely shot up, but anyway guys, um, it's only meant to be short, it's getting dark now, hope you all enjoyed, um, so it's all looking good, so guess what uh, Mr C and Mrs C, and I've got to say, actually, I watched your uh, episode today at work. Well, I didn't, not at work. That sounds really bad, doesn't it? Um, I watched it my lunch break. And I know I made some comments. Um, I actually thoroughly enjoyed your latest episode. Um, it was a great explanation of uh, Canada Day. And a lot of his history and all the rest of the bits and pieces. And um, obviously, I know you're an expat, but... It's great to, uh, to 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 hear somebody with uh, the passion um, that you have. Um, I know you went to Canada many many years ago, but to have the passion about a new country that you've inherited as your own, so to speak, um, and all the rest of it, it's wonderful. And to celebrate it with friends, colleagues of all different faiths, you know, all the bits and pieces you said about immigration. Is absolutely wonderful. Um, I just wish, wish the rest of the world could do exactly the same. Um, we might cut there, might not be in my lifetime, but you never know. But it was an absolutely great episode, really thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, and all the best to you. And for that, I'm going to open a can of beer. It's again the Thatcher Cider, 
because I can't get my local beer down here because it's real ale you don't travel but for for me over in blighty land um I a well obviously I hope you had a brilliant day and to all those Canadians and and whatever I hope you all had a great day um God bless you all brilliant I'm time for a beer now cheers guys bye